All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, what I wanted to talk about today was I kept some statistics of my matches in G1 through G3 RTA for season four. I started a little bit later in the season, so I don't have a ton of data, but I have a decent amount of a sense of how my units performed uh, as the season went along. So as you can see, here's my current rank. We're two days to tally, and I'm 0.7% rank 1700, and my victory rate was 57.6%. 136 and 100 is how I went this time. I played more matches than last season, quite a bit more. Um, my win rate tailed off towards the end. I lost my last several matches. Um, I was, I think my high was like 1940, right around 1940. And then I was just playing the single match every week to avoid decay and I ended up losing quite a few of those. But I feel pretty confident that this will hold the last two days. It's been decaying about 100 to 200 ranks a day. We've got two two days and change, so about 50 something hours until close, so I'm thinking this will probably be all right. But the thing I wanna talk about is the statistics I kept of the matches. So you can see I've got the win column, the loss column, win percentage, and total played, so you can get a sense of what my units did, how my units performed. Um, the one thing I wanted to make sure I was learning was you know, what units are the best performers for me based on how I tend to pick instead of you know, what if I just pick this unit every time? Like sometimes I tend to get into a rut where I want to pick certain units, even if they're not performing particularly great. So Tagor's at the top. He's an outlier. I only used him one match that I recorded and he won that match. It was, I needed really strong water DPS that was speed tuned and he was the one and it ended up working out. So I don't really count him. But the thing that's most surprising to me is Vanessa was my top winning unit uh, at 13 and seven. So a 65% win rate. And the thing that I think is interesting about these win rates is if my overall win rate was 57%, then anything over 57% performed really, really well because I didn't record any matches that were against conqueror level players because I felt like there's too much variables there and probably that's where I was getting a lot of my little boosts um, from beating on conqueror level players. So the Vanessa won 65% of the matches. She wasn't picked that often compared to some of the other units, about half as much as my more common units, but still picked quite a bit. Out of the matches I recorded, 20, 20 times she was picked and she did a good job. So my theory is, is I would only pick Vanessa if I needed to go first. Um, I'm not picking her really for any other reason. She doesn't have skill up. She's not unviolent. I just need to go first. I need that speed lead. And she did a great job. Her revive ended up being great, especially paired with Gany. I was able to refresh her revive a couple times to get multiple revives. So she was a really uh, strong performer. So I was pretty pleased with her. I'm probably going to put Devilmons into her next if she's going to be that good at RTA. Um, Going down the list, Ethna at 62%, 37 times I picked Ethna, which is my, what, third most picked unit, and she performed really, really well, and a lot of times Ethna would get banned. I, I recorded the wins and losses even if the unit got banned um, because they were part of the winning comp. The thing that these statistics don't really account for is, you know, my pick style and how I pick against certain players, how I'm banned, you know, that sort of thing, but these are the units I have, and this is the statistics that came from them. So 62% win rate, 23 and 14, really, really great. Uh, Bastet next on the list, 61%. Picked slightly less than Ethna. I maybe should have picked her more, but I didn't. And she ended up performing really well, so I should probably get her in more. She's sneaky because she's my sustain. She's a sustain source with that shield. You don't think about it because it's not a heal, but it's like getting overhealed. So it's really, really good. Um, and she's a defense break. So she's going to get you kills faster. And if she lands her glancing or her attack break she's a mitigation as well so she's she's really versatile um and she helps you go first as well you can see that going first is really important uh perna my next unit 57 percent picked quite a bit 42 per 42 times and just my dps my dps all day all day so perna did a great job all right gany i picked the most um gany was a unit i pulled early in the season and is really i think still really good um even after the nerf, 55% win rate. And this is against G1 through G3, so lower than my overall win rate, but still clearly, you know, doing the heavy lifting. I picked him the most. I'd say he was my first pick most of the season. I just really wanted to lock him in. And my theory was I want Gany over Molong um, because I think Gany can lock down a Molong in most cases. That's just my personal choice on that. So Gany. Um, then Sierra clocks in after that, 19 and 16. 35 times I got to play with Sierra. I'd say I picked her more than that. I picked her quite a bit, but these are the ones that I recorded. Often Sierra was a contested unit, so the opponent would pick Sierra, especially if I first picked Gany. They might counter Sierra Molong, something like that. 
Um, Okeanos is next, 11 and 10. 21 times I used Okeanos. Not a lot this season, which is weird. Um, Okeanos is my bread and butter the first three seasons, and I think it was probably a mistake to get away from him. Um, I was trying to fit him more into my speed comp, which I don't think is his is his strength. I'm going to try to use him in a little bit more of a mid-range control comp next season, but still above 50%. So those are my main units that p- performed well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven total units. So it's just the same seven units over and over and over again. Um, then we go into the units that performed far under uh, expectations or what I would have liked to have seen. Gemini, I only picked six times, but went two and four. So I should probably never pick Gemini um, until I have the runes, better runes on him. But I was thinking I was trying to outspeed or something and just didn't get it done. Gemini's are a little bit squishier. Um, another thing to note is everything above Gemini on the list is an at five. So missing those base stats might be enough to bring him down the ranks as a nat 4, and he's kind of a squishy nat 4. Um, the next surprise for me was Molong with a 30% win rate, 6 and 14. I pulled Molong really late in the season. Um, I had him on vamp at first with minimal skill ups, and then towards the end of the season, I switched him to violent for the last like week or so, week or two weeks, something like that, and uh, still didn't have full skill ups. He actually didn't get full skill ups until today, so that might be some of the issue um, it might also be that I just don't know how to use them all along correctly. I might be reckless assaulting too early in the match, but Molon definitely over, oh, underperformed. I'm going to try to use him a little bit more, um, this coming season, but it, he's kind of the consensus, one of the best units that I have available. I think Ganey might be slightly better in the way I like to run things, but I need, I need to get that Molong uh, up to snuff. I need to get that win rate over 50%. So not sure what's going on there. Praha was another disappointment. Um, I only picked Praha eight times, and I tried to use Praha as a Wusa counter by being fast enough with the Dispel, but clearly my build for Praha was not good enough in those times that I thought she would be useful, she wasn't. So maybe I should have built her differently, or maybe I was picking her incorrectly or building the team around her wrong, but it just didn't work out um, with the Praha, the fast Praha this season. And then another kind of surprising thing is Virad. I only picked five times, and Virad went one and four. So kind of there's a, if you look at it, there's sort of a correlation between Gemini, Praha, Virad. I was picking strippers and Virad maybe, and didn't perform 20% win rate. So it's kind of disappointing. Then it's the teams that never won anything. Triton I picked twice to try to strip, 0 and 2. Tessa I thought was interesting. I thought I had a Tessa that was functional. It's on triple revenge, so it's trying to revenge uh, Oblivion, but... 0-4. Oh, so every time I see a comp full of passives and I pick a Tessa, I'm wrong. So I shouldn't do that. Um, I should just deal with the passives in another way. I should pick the units that are stronger for me, unless somehow um, Tessa starts performing better for me. A lot of people love Tessa and they do a good job with Tessa, but I'm not. I'm either bad at picking Tessa or I'm bad at utilizing Tessa. So 0-4. Oh, Sekhmet 0-1. Oh, wasn't really ruined the way it's been in uh, times past and sort of outclassed by some of my other units, Okeanos mainly. Rakuni 0-1, I think that's a rune issue as well. Theo, Azaria, Garrow, these are speed lead Hail Marys that just didn't work out. So those are the stats for the season. I'm going to try to be a little more comprehensive next season. I want to start tracking um, bans. Like if I ban Sierra, what's my win rate? If I ban Wind Panda, what's my win rate? I want to know my best bans statistically on average because I think I tend to ban certain in a certain way that may not be the smartest way i might ban a speed lead and i'm thinking okay i'll outspeed but then it doesn't work or i ban a speed booster when really i should have banned the dps or something i really don't do very often is i should ban the uh buff removal from them so things i'm going to keep in mind for next season but i thought you guys would appreciate maybe seeing what i was doing statistically this season i i kind of like the numbers part of it and it sort of helped with tilt because at the end of every match win or lose I had some data to, in, you know, input into the spreadsheet. Um, and you'll see the played doesn't really match up with the number of matches I played. I kind of did it towards the end of the season, but it was it was fun. I would, you know, I would recommend it if anyone enjoys that sort of thing. I like it. It's kind of nerdy and like baseball statty. So anyway, uh, I hope you all enjoyed it and I will uh, catch you next time. Hope everybody finishes where they need to finish in the season and good luck to people pushing for a particular rank. Take care, everybody.